if we look at the, um, your ability to finance your own businesses, are the banks, you know, they're, they're hearing the message about oversupply and mm. lower margins. Does that make it more difficult for steel producers to, to raise credit and to invest, or is the, the banks are sympathetic? I think you'll find that the banks, because they've been dealing with certain people for so many years, they're very comfortable with those people, knowing that these are not uh, the sort of organizations that won't uh, sort of uh, stay with their commitments. The smaller, the newer entrants, as on today, I think they would find it quite challenging to enter the market. But uh, companies that have been around through several cycles, like, like us and, and ours, uh, we, we do find it challenging um, in terms of raising funds for things other than what we're doing. But with regards to what we're doing, I think the banks are very comfortable. Sorry, what do you mean things other than what we're doing? If you wanted to do another project, for example, totally unrelated to what you do as a business, I think the banks oh, are taking a more, uh, if, if I may say so, a more proactive approach towards knowing who their customer is today, where they won't just give you money because you have a project feasibility that sounds good. I think they are looking at track record today. I, I don't personally believe that it's uh, just uh, you know a, a sort of a business plan you put in front of them and say, look, I, I want to get this done, and I believe that these are the returns, and they say, yes, here's the money. I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's quite that straightforward okay. anymore. I think they are looking at so track they're record. They're increasing their due diligence, just as everybody else I, is increasing. I believe their so. Due I believe so, and uh, because of the track record, I think the banks are comfortable dealing with you know companies, as I said, you that have been around for 20, 30 years.